Uh, and then last one is first home savers account. Uh, the government announced, actually announced last in last year's federal budget, the 2010 federal budget, that they would loosen up the requirement of satisfying four financial years on this before being able to access it. If you're not familiar with this, and this actually works reasonably well for pastors, because often or sometimes pastors have lived in manses most of their careers, and they potentially haven't lived in a house that they've that they own and uh, so if you haven't lived in a house that you own you might have any, even have an investment property you still could be eligible for this first home savers account or if you're a young person if you haven't you haven't owned a home that you've lived in then you could be eligible for this uh, particular account it hasn't had much uh, press hasn't had much publicity because it doesn't make that much money for the product providers but there's about uh, just under 20 I think product providers ranging from uh, councils to the major banks um, but the concept is that you can put up to uh, $11,000 into the first home savers account each year and the government will match the first 5500 of that with a co-contribution of 17% or $935 so and you can have one each so if you're a couple you can have have it to have two accounts and, and, and do it so the requirements are that you're between 18 and 65 uh, tax file number, never owned a home in Australia that has been your main residence. So you might have even owned a home but not lived in it or it's not been your main residence and you've never previously had a first home saver account. How do you access it? Uh, actually, how to use the funds in the account. So the requirement is that you can only use it to buy your first home or you can put it into super as well. Um, so there's your two options, um, your only two options. But the, it seemed like it was this requirement for f- covering off four financial years or having $1,000 put into the fund for four financial years that was actually causing people not to get, get involved because they think I might buy a home sooner than that. And if they bought a home sooner than the four years had lapsed, then they couldn't actually use the money to put towards their home, that to just put it into super, which was which was a bit of a hassle. So they've opened up so that if you buy a home before you've satisfied these four financial years, then you can still... Um, access the money after four financial years have lapsed and put it against your mortgage. Um, so they've loosened it up. It's a great strategy for, um, you know, sometimes pastors who haven't lived in a home that they've owned, um, great for, for young people or for grandparents or parents who want to assist people get into the more, more and more difficult housing market. Uh, this can show the real benefits of it. You think about four financial years, but you can actually cover off four financial years in just over uh, two two years in duration. So if you look at uh, putting in uh, these figures haven't changed, but if you put in it, we should, these should go up another year. If you put in eleven thousand dollars, so that's five thousand five hundred dollars into. So this is a young couple's account. Five thousand five thousand five thousand five hundred dollars each. You get a co contribution of nine thirty five each or eighteen hundred seventy dollars over the year. You'd get. Uh, interest on it, less tax. This is, I think, at a 7% tax ra- uh, interest rate, 15% tax rate. You end up with a balance of 13636 after the first year. Do that again for each year. And if you look at these time duration, this time dura- uh, the duration of time here, um, even if you made this 11 and 14, it's just over two years you could access all the money to put, in, put against your mortgage. You've effectively put in $44,000 and in just over two years, that has grown to $54,000. So it's a really effective way to save for, it, for uh, your first home or help your somebody save for their first home. If this was um, a scenario where you accessed it and you were close to retirement, it could just be another way of boosting your retirement savings.